Pandemic has put a spotlight on schools and more people are invested in the conversation around education than ever before. So for the next four weeks, we'll get to know the people running to be the next state superintendent. Christy Diaz sat down with each of the candidates and this week it's Dr. Jaha Howard. What do you think is the biggest threat facing education right now? I think a lack of urgency. For example, there may be a urgent need to make sure that we have another uh, building to make sure we don't we can relieve overcrowding. A lack of urgency says, oh, we can do it next time. And a project takes it takes off in four or five years instead of year one. That's the kind of thing that happens too often. Uh, what is your position on vaccine mandates in schools? Banning mandates is extremely problematic, extremely prom problematic. And when it comes to a COVID vaccine, I think we should highly encourage, not just with our words, but with our actions for children to have vaccines if parents want. I think it's foolish at this stage of the game to mandate it for all students across the board. I think that's overreach but I think that we should strongly recommend it. What is your position on critical race theory? Should it be taught in schools? And is there a grade level at which it's appropriate? I think it's important to properly define a thing first and acknowledge that critical race theory is used in highly academic postgraduate course curriculum, not in K through 12 curriculum. What we've seen, again, is a well-funded, well-organized nationwide approach to redefining critical race theory to be the catch-all of all things scary in social circles. And all that does is hurts our children. How well would you say you work with people you disagree with? Yeah. So generally speaking, I work really well with people that I disagree with. At some point, you realize that it's bigger than a disagreement. Do we just go along to get along or do we say what needs to be said? And that's what I chose. What would you say you've done in your role as Cobb school board member uh, that would make you the strongest candidate to be state superintendent? I gave a voice and I'm continuing to give a voice for our educators and for our children. For too long, there's a big gap between what's happening on the classroom level and what's happening with policymakers. And so I think we've done a tremendous job helping the public know what's really going on and how each individual has a voice, has power to be a part of the process. And that was just a small snippet of the conversation that ranged from teacher burnout to the budget. You can watch the full interview on our website, 11alive.com. And next week, you'll hear from Curry Hitchens.